Hello and welcome to this short series of videos about eBook Central. eBook Central is our main eBook platform at UCA. So any um, individual books that we purchase for your reading lists as eBooks will be available on this platform. And we also subscribe to a package of eBooks across a range of different subjects. So you'll find thousands of eBooks available through it. So this first video will cover the basics. The second video will look at um, how to read books online. The third video will look at the My Account features. And the fourth video will look at how to download and read books. So just to go through the contents of this video, we'll look at um, how and where you access eBook Central. We'll look at searching across eBook Central We'll look at the book detail page and we'll look at how to download an individual chapter. So the most obvious way to access eBook Central is when you're on the library catalogue and you're looking at an eBook. If when you click on connect to eBook, you'll be taken to that individual eBook, but you'll also be within eBook Central with access to all of the other eBooks. You can also access eBook Central by clicking on this databases link on the library catalogue. And that link will take you to our A to Z list of databases and you can find it there under E for eBook Central. If you've clicked on My Library from My UCA, you'll end up on your subject um, guide. So to access the A to Z database list from there, you click on databases. And then there's an option for the database A to Z, which is another way of reaching it. And then you can go to E and eBook Central. So the main search box within eBook Central will search across the full text of all of the books within it. So you could search here for like a keyword like metaphor. But if you were doing research on a particular thinker or theorist, you could search for them here. You would also you would find books written by them, but you would also find books that discuss their ideas. So the way the main search uh, results are displayed on one tab, the default tab, you've got the book results. So it's going to um, provide you with the books that it thinks are most relevant. And then there's a separate tab for chapter results, which will show you the most the individual chapters within books that it thinks are most relevant. On the left hand side, there's a number of options to kind of limit your search. You can limit it by books owned and subscribed to by your library, which I think most of the books that it will show you we have access to. It will also show you um, the number of book the books that you have access to a limited print copy and download for and you can limit the results to certain years or certain subject topics or even certain languages if you want to read something in another language and these are all ways of kind of um, making your results more relevant to, to what you want. So from the search results page you can either click on the book to then and then click on read online to read the book online. But if you specifically want to go to where that word has appeared in the book, um, you can browse through the contents and then it will tell you the, the pages that your word has appeared on. So you can go directly to that page to read that section if that's how, um, if that's what you want. To. So from the search results, if you click on the title of the book, you'll end up on the book detail page. And it's here that you find a little bit more information about the book. So for example, this one, um, a key thing is the availability. So it says your institution has unlimited access to this book, which means that um, any number of people can look at this at the same time. So you'll have no problems um, clicking on the read online option. And you can also download the entire book or download a PDF chapter. They're the options that we have here. Some books, um, for example, this one, um, we only have um, access to one copy of this book at any one time. And it's not available for a full download, but you can download a PDF 
chapter. Um, if someone else has access to the book, um, it won't let you um, access it. But what will happen is we will receive uh, a message from eBook Central and then um, we can then think about upgrading the availability of the book so that more than one person can use it at any one time. So there's a couple of other bits to point out on the book detail page. Um, we've got on the right hand side um, publication information about the book. So from there, there should be everything you need to provide a reference. We've also got other kind of similar books. It's recommending other books in uh, within that topic area. It's brought up tags for kind of subjects related to this book, so you could browse the tags. This little out metric thing here, which is looking at um, who else has used this book. And sometimes you get a little icon about the author that will tell you a little bit more about the author there. On the left hand side, um, the download book option, which we'll come back to later, bookshelf, what we'll come back to, but there's um, share a link to a book. So if you wanted to share the book with someone else, you could do that. And there's also a site book option here. Um, you can change the format of that there to Harvard. But what I would say is it's not the same kind of version of Harvard that we use at UCA. Um, if you are using reference software, you can either go to Export Citation, um, EndNote Citavi, and it creates a little file there that you can import into Zotero or Paperpile. But if you are using reference software from this page here, um, if you're using Paperpile, it should be able to gather the information that you need to reference that book from that page. So the last thing we're going to look at on this screen, if you scroll down quick down there, for each chapter there's the option to read online where it will take you directly to that chapter and there's also the option to download a PDF of that individual chapter that you can then print off. If you click on that download PDF it will ask you to log in but we'll cover that on the account video.